30th of October, a 230 meter long colonial era bridge built on the Machu River in Morbi district of Gujarat collapsed, claiming at least 141 lives. Many were reported missing. Several news channels shared a video clip showing people shaking the bridge vigorously and claimed the videos were taken recently, suggesting that such actions were responsible for the tragedy. Republic Bharat aired a video clip multiple times on its Facebook page at 10:12 p.m. Indian Standard Time, calling it an exclusive footage moments before the disaster. In this viral clip, an arrow points at the crowd seen to be shaking the bridge while some of them kicked the rails of the bridge. Z News English also shared the video on Facebook and mentioned it as exclusive footage moments before the disaster. They aired the footage of the aftermath of the disaster and the overcrowded bridge side by side. NDTV shared the same clip on Facebook but claimed the viral clip was shot 24 hours before the collapse. Various pro BJP social media users like retired major Surendra Punia, retired flight lieutenant Anup Verma, Sushil Kedia went to the extent of calling the entire incident a conspiracy. Filmmaker Vivek Agnihotri shared a clip of the CCTV footage of the bridge collapsing and tweeted, There is no doubt now that hashtag Morbi bridge collapse is a sabotage by hashtag urban axles as a planned strategy. They have been destroying schools, hospitals, roads, rail tracks and bridges. However, Alt News found multiple clips on social media that established that it is a common practice for visitors to stand on it and make it verbal. Here, in a January 2021 vlog, the vlogger estimates that there were approximately 300 to 400 people on the bridge at that particular time. So guys, from the timestamp 21 seconds to 35 seconds, we can see visitors recklessly shaking the bridge. In 2020, the Twitter handle Morbi Today tweeted an article reporting how visitors needed to sign an accident consent prior to visiting the Jhulta Pool. The article has been deleted, but the tweet includes the image of the form. An Aztec bulletin showed a flex warning visitors against overcrowding and taking selfies on the bridge. This confirms that the government was very well aware of the risks associated with the bridge. In March 2022, Morbi municipality shut down the bridge for renovation. The contract was given to the Oreva Group. After six months, at the inauguration of the renovated bridge on October 26, Oreva Group's MD Jaisuk Patel told the media in a press conference, The way this bridge has been built, according to us, next renovation should take place approximately 8 to 10 years from now. Nothing should happen until then. Alt News has accessed a contract between Ajanta Manufacturing Private Limited and the approving body Morbi Nagarpalika through the NDTV journalist Tanushri Pandey. After the disaster, an Indian Express report quoted Sandeep Singh Zala, Chief Officer Morbi Municipality saying, The bridge is a property of the Morbi Municipality, but we had handed it over to Oreva Group a few months ago for maintenance and operations for a duration of 15 years. However, the firm threw the bridge open to visitors without notifying us and therefore, we couldn't get a safety audit of the bridge conducted. He added, it was open to the public after the completion of the renovation work, but the local municipality had not yet issued any fitness certificate. It is unclear how the bridge was allowed to be thrown open to the public on 26th of October if a fitness certificate was not issued. Hence, the claim that the Morbi disaster is a conspiracy based on people's behavior on the bridge is baseless.